our operations and development opportunities are located on traditional lands and we realize that we need to uh, support the development and uh, the mutual respect and understanding between our, our Aboriginal partners. Approximately 13% of our, our workers are, uh, are First Nations. Uh, our contractors also have similar levels of employment in their workforce and we encourage that with all of the, the contractors that work with us. PIMI is the closest thing to oil or grease in Cree. PIMI was started in 1984, the brainchild of Imperial Oil and six chiefs that were, were the, the founding fathers of the company. The heavy oil has pr provided about 80 jobs. Several of the longer term employees have, have sons working for us now. Having a successful First Nations company has helped the communities. Some of our employees create great role models for the kids coming up through school. The kids can come and work for you know, Imperial or Synovus or they can come and work for PIMI or some of the other First Nations companies. We have an Imperial native network that has been developed. It was developed some years ago, which is a number of Aboriginal employees that we have that, that go out into the community and encourage uh, roles and jobs in the oil and gas industry. They do things such as uh, attending science fairs, doing speeches in, in classrooms, and just getting involved with the young people out there to, to let them know that there is a, a future for them in this industry. We're a very successful company and we pay dividends to the First Nations every year and, and they use that for, for infrastructure and to, to help with training and, and uh, all sorts of things. You know, there are some other First Nations in the province that have looked at the PIMI model and if there's some interest in, in us uh, going to help them do exactly what PIMI is doing in this area. In Cold Lake we've implemented a native internship program. Uh, that Native Internship Program uh, has an on-the-job training component where we, we bring Aboriginal folks who are interested in a career in operations uh, and we pay for their on-the-job training and, uh, and provide that development for them on site. Imperial Hall has a number of different development plans in place for the future and Aboriginal workforce is a key part of that, uh, that development.